Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Ingle, Consultant Pathologist and Zonal Technical Head for Apollo Health and Lifestyle Limited West Zone. Today I will be talking about lab tests for ca cancer diagnosis. As we all know that cancer is a very dreaded disease in today's times. One in every uh, 5 or to 10 patients are getting diagnosed with cancer. What does this mean? It doesn't mean that the cancer has increased. It just means that the total detection level of cancers has increased due to different modalities available for diagnosis of cancer. Now how to use each and every test for cancer diagnosis and management is also very important because not all tests can diagnose cancer 100% and not all tests can monitor cancer 100%. So to know the importance of each and every test helps us to uh, know how the patient whether the patient has a cancer and if he has a cancer what type of cancer and how is to, it is to be managed and how the treatment is progressing. So there are different tests which can be done in the blood or the urine of the patient to diagnose a cancer and these will help doctors to understand what type of a cancer it is, what is the level of cancer and how to do the management. But these tests all by itself do not give a complete diagnosis picture. These tests along with biopsies, imaging and other clinical signs and symptoms help the doctors and oncologists to diagnose and manage the cancer in a particular patients. There are different tests which can be done in the blood such as tumor markers, cytogenetics, liquid biopsies, biopsies and, and cytogenetic analysis. So first we will talk about tumor markers. Tumor markers are usually done in the blood. These tests are basically uh, the uh, antigens which are produced by the cancer cells in the body. But these are also sometimes produced by the normal cells in the body. So an increased levels of certain tumor markers can detect a cancer. But sometimes these are not very specific. They just give a sign and symptom that there might be a cancer. So these need to be tested along with other modalities such as biopsies, imaging to help us know whether the cancer is really present or not. But the tumor markers in a case of established cancer can help us manage the disease and let us know how the treatment pro progression is happening and whether the treatment is having its effect or not. So there are many different tumor markers such as CA125, CA19.9, CA15.3 for different types of cancers. PSA is one, one thing which is very specific, which is specific for males in prostate cancers. So there are many tests but you need to consult your doctor before doing this test whether you have a cancer or not. The other test which we have very commonly now is being used is cytogenetic analysis. As we all know, the uh, cancer has does have genetic predisposition due to any genetic abnormality, whether inherited or due to the uh, due to exposure to uh, radiation or any uh, benzalkyl uh, benzalkyl elements can give rise to cancer. So these cytogenetic abnormalities, when detected in blood, will tell us whether a person is prone for cancer or if he has a cancer what type of therapy is good for it, good for him or her and helps the oncologist to manage patient accordingly and give treatment as per the genetic analysis. This actually helps us to give a uh, specific treatment for specific patients. This is a very new term and new modality of diagnosis and managing the patients which has very good results. Another modality is a liquid biopsy. Liquid biopsy is a simple test wherein we take the patient's blood and look for the DNA fragments of the cancerous cell which are shed by the cancer cells into the bloodstream. This is a very uh, precise procedure and tells us the tumor load inside the body and helps the oncologist to, uh, to uh, prepare for the management and see how the treatment is progressing. This is very common specially also referred to as minimal residual disease test which is done by many laboratories and can be a useful tool for the oncologist 
to see whether the tumor burden is high or low in a particular patient during the treatment. Another method is a simple biopsy. Simple biopsy is for especially for tumor uh, solid tumors which are uh, done by either an endoscopic biopsy or a needle biopsy which the uh, tissue is sent to a pathologist and the pathologist gives a detailed diagnosis depending on the microscopy and immunohistochemistry for that tumor doing what is the tumor, what is the stage of the tumor and what, what is the uh, prote uh, antigen protocol uh, uh, positive or negative on IHC. This helps the oncologist to diagnose, uh, to manage the patient and give treatment accordingly. For example, in a breast carcinoma, when a uh, IHC is done for ER, PR and HER2, it actually tells whether it is hormone responsive or not non-responsive uh, breast carcinoma. So this actually helps the patients in uh, and the doctors to diagnose and give specific treatment for each and every uh, cancer which is diagnosed. There is also another uh, uh, modality known as uh, immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is basically uh, for a tailored made uh, treatment for cancer patients which can be uh, done when a cytogenetic analysis and a liquid biopsies are used. So these are the newer modal modalities of treatment and diagnosis which are very helpful in today's times for cancer diagnosis. Thank you.